Welcome to another Bleistift video, this time on stapler staplers. They've been around for a while and here are two models that are uh, fairly easy to get and that are quite good. And you, you can get very cheap models. I think um, a few years ago, maybe five years ago or so, my employer, um, it's a university, they were handing out a no name stapler staplers to students on, on some sort of environmental awareness day and uh, they often work the same way as, as this one does this one is um, for 10 sheets uh, this one is for 5 sheets so what's the difference? this one is basically crimping those sheets of paper together um, at least on the continent I've, I've seen that kind of crimping of pieces together on, on little uh, lottery tickets where, where you, you where you buy a ticket and there could be an instant win the borders could be crimped together like that or on, on, on wage slips uh, things like that so this one's supposed to be for up to five sheets I, I usually use this one with very few sheets like one two three something like that so here I'll have five sheets let's try it out this one's quite heavy there's some sort of weight inside so I'll, I'll put my paper in and here five sheets is already pretty tight I push down hard I take it out and you can see this little border where the paper has been crimped together is it very stable? well in this case it is but sometimes it isn't let's try two sheets of paper Obviously, it also depends on what kind of paper you use. So, I've got two sheets of paper. Is it proper? Yeah. But if you don't press hard, if you just press a bit, it looks all right. Yeah. But it's more easy to fall apart. Yeah, it's, it's fine if, if, you, if you put some documents away. But if you've got documents, you want to flip the page over again and again. Uh, this might become uh, loose over time or all, all this flipping action. Yeah. Let's do an example of that. So, yeah. you, you flip the page over. You know, if, if you do that repeatedly, then maybe <coughs> some sort of normal metal stapler might be better but if you just want to file your documents away let's say I don't know bank statement something like that uh, this might be a good solution completely different approach here is this stapler it will basically make a hole let's remove the cover it will make a hole oh, it, will, it will cut a strip of paper it will, it will make a hole and then it will push the strip of paper uh, through the hole. Yeah. So let's have a look how that works. Mm. I'll do it slowly again. So uh, this one's for up to 10 sheets. So now I'm using 10 sheets. Uh -huh. So here's a hole. Here's the strip of paper. Oh, yeah. ah, it's difficult to do that slowly and now the paper has been pushed through the hole ah, here's it. it's cut out pushed through the hole and now we've got many sheets of paper together and in my experience you see here the first one already went out um, this one works but I like this one much more, but this one can only cope with up to five sheets. Yeah, this one's also maybe less sightly, if, if, if you wish to call it that. Let's try this the, this big stapler with two sheets of paper. Let's take two of them. <coughs> I'll try to do it slowly. Oh, let me remove the cover. Start that. 
out for cover. So here's the hole. Here's the paper getting folded in. It's through the hole. Yeah. Okay. Secure. Not as secure as this one, but for this one you got to press quite a bit. Um, yeah, they're both not too expensive. They're both uh, made in China. They're, they're, they're both quite durable. I've, I've used these and similar ones for, for many years. Um, but yeah. Um, if this is something for you, I, I, you know, I certainly give it a go. There, there may be five to ten quid if, if you buy them not in a too expensive place. So, um, yeah, maybe, maybe around ten bucks, something like that. Okay, thank you for watching, and until next time, bye.